Deep in the woods of the Pacific Northwest, Sam Devlin has built a thoughtful workshop dedicated to the classic design and modern craft of wooden boats. With more than four decades and hundreds of designs under his belt, Sam has created artful solutions for almost every role a boat can fill. While each project is aimed at the specific goals of the owner, they all have one common theme. Sam Devlin boats are made of wood. Let's take a look at his current project and some of the many creations that Sam and his crew have built at Devlin Designing Boat Builders. Here's Sam. So this is our current project that we're working on. We call it Electric Philosophy 40, and I'm building it for two people from Ohio. And uh, they're both retired engineers, and their goal and desire is to be one of the first, if not the first, boat to go uh, under complete solar electric um, propulsion up to Alaska and back. And so it's a 40-foot catamaran. You can see a little bit of an interior. This is not a totally polished up drawing with floors and, and everything showing, but it's got a nice queen size berth area um, back aft. It's got a nice big head, nice big shower galley, and we're going to do an easy chair up in this uh, area here. Nice helm seat and then a fore and aft dinette um, that converts down into a double. And with this covered cockpit, there's a barbecue area aft. We'll put dinghy davits off the stern of it, and I think we're going to have a nice little power cruiser. Tugzilla is a compact yet fully capable tugboat, ideal for operating in marinas and other tight conditions. Recently, Tugzilla moved a houseboat from the marina to the boatyard for some maintenance. One of the issues with a solar electric boat is they have a giant roof that has to be put on and they're basically a, like an aircraft carrier to carry all the solar panels. This boat has a little bit more than 9,000 watts of solar power on the roof. So you can kind of see how the how the uh, roof structure kind of overlays the, the bottom. It only sticks out over the edge of the hole at all, just a little bit up forward here. So where we're at in the, in the hole right now is we are, uh, we've got the two holes built, and this is my scheme for the, the deck framing fiberglass tubes that are two and an eighth inch. They span from side to side, clear out to the edges of the boat, and then we'll put a three quarter inch plywood deck up on top and that'll become the working deck and the bottom of the uh, of the cabin itself. And we did that to reduce the overall height. Uh, could have done wooden beams, but they would have had to have been about six inches tall to get the same kind of strength that, that these fiberglass beams give me. So I've gone to the dark side and I'm putting some fiberglass with workship's beams on them. Sam's shop is a complex of buildings arranged with the same attention to detail as every boat he builds. Everywhere you look is the same dedication to art and craftsmanship. 
there's the design office where Sam works out the details of every project. There's the main shop where most of the heavy work is done. There's the upper shop for smaller projects and detail work. And the barn serves as storage for small boats and large stacks of high-grade wood. Pretty good space for moving back and forth up the sides of the boat, or you can go through the through the length of the boat. And uh, quite good headroom down the down the center of the boat. Out in the shop, you can see we're building this. We're looking for a March of next year, uh, 2021 launch date on this boat. We already have about a hundred thousand dollars worth of lithium batteries uh, chucked in the build. There's almost 7,000 pounds of batteries. So it's got quite a bit of battery capacity and then with 9,000 watts of solar panels, it, as long as there's any kind of daylight, she'll be able to run at about six to seven knots um, under total electric power. There is no internal combustion on this boat at all. For heat, which is the only thing that is hard to run under total electric, we're gonna run a um, two propane little forced air furnaces. The cooking is electric induction. Virtually everything else is, is total electric. Anyway, we're really looking forward to working on this and, and wrapping this project up and then We'll see what the fortunes of war hold for us next year. Thank you for taking a few minutes for this virtual tour of the home of Devlin Designing Boat Builders. We hope that you'll stop by devlinboat.com to learn more.